I did my first mural here in Chattanooga in 2011. And it was a big portrait of Samuel L. Jackson. It was part of something that a friend of mine called the demolition, a discotheca demolition project. It was an old building. Uh, it had been actually a record store, uh, I believe a, a Spanish record store that uh, some other friends of mine had turned into a club. Club closed, uh, doctor bought the lot, they're gonna tear that building down and put up the new, new office. So my friend had, uh, had gotten permission from the owners of the building to do a mural project, and he invited a bunch of artists to come out and do that. So I did Samuel L. Jackson, <clears throat> but I thought they were a good parallel, Samuel L. Jackson, Main Street. The Fallen Five mural, and it's for the, the four Marines and the one sailor who were killed in July. Mm -hmm. um, and just to make those different, to stand out from the rest, I'm doing them in full color. These were men who were wearing the uniform, and their job was to protect us. And no, they weren't deployed, um, but they still they made the ultimate sacrifice for us. I think, you know, whether they're in Afghanistan or here, uh, they deserve every bit of honor that we can give them. Uh, this is the best way I have of doing that. I also feel pretty strongly we don't need to be saying the name of the shooter. Mm -hmm. We need to stop glorifying these shooters. I think we're just encouraging the next one. So what I wanted to do was to honor these five men. You know, it's Holmquist, um, Smith, Sullivan, Wells, and Wyatt. We need to remember these five men and forget this sixth one over here. Short story, we could go on. So yeah, I think it can build a sense of community. One of the goals of the mural project was to bring in volunteers. And the idea was, if we do this and we bring people in from the neighborhoods to help, well, they're not going to trash it, right? And they're probably not going to put up with anybody else who does, you know? If uh, some kids are hanging around, someone's got a can of spray paint, and says, hey, I'm going to go tag that mural over there. If you worked on it, you're going to say, no, you're not. I, I painted that. You're not, you know. Well, I'll say it. As far as the mural project goes on Macaulay that I've been doing the past couple years, I think we've taken a lot of ugly space and made it into something worth seeing. Um, I live in Highland Park, which is bordered uh, on that side by Macaulay, and driving through that every day, I, it was oppressive. And I'd only been there, you know, 10 years. I can't imagine spending my whole life there and driving through that corridor of, you know, cinder block and concertina wire. And you know, I just, I can't imagine. So I just wanted to make that something beautiful, you know? So I hope that I've done that there. People have said that. I know that uh, I've seen people who, you know, pull up, get out of their car, uh, walk up and down, look at them, get their picture taken in front of them. That's not something that happened 10 years ago. People were not driving from the suburbs to come and walk up and down Macaulay Avenue. So I think that's a good thing, that we've changed the, the perception of that area. Um, I know my neighbors like it. You know, I have, I have people who, who live in houses, you know, a block off the street, but you can still see the murals. And they talk about how nice it is to have that view out their window now instead of, uh, you know, the, the big boarded up storefront. Uh, citywide, you know, hopefully. Like I said, you know, I hope that, uh, hope that people like what I do. I hope that Samuel L. Jackson was honored that we did that for him. I know he saw a picture of it. I know he liked it. Um, I'd like to do another one of him. But that's the story for another time. So I hope that it's... Uh, beautify the city, change perceptions of certain areas. Um, we've had a lot of volunteer projects where people come out. I hope that it's introduced people to art. I hope it's given them a chance. I know it has. Uh, we did one um, on the St. George Hotel, which is down there at almost Main and Market, right? The old hotel that's boarded up. But we did the, the front of it, the boards, so they wouldn't look like boards. And um, I can't remember her last name, uh, Nell. She works at the library, but she came out uh, downtown library. She came out with her son, and they painted for half a day. And at the end, she said, this is the happiest I've felt all week. That's awesome. I just love that, that you know, the art had that effect on somebody, that I could help make that happen. <laughs>